Next we're going to talk about a topic called dielectrics. Dielectrics are insulators. No charges move in an insulator, so that the dielectric, when placed inside of a capacitor, doesn't result in a flow of charge, but it does rec uh, result in a change in electric field. That's because the dipole moments of the, sol of the, of the molecules inside of the solid will start to align themselves in response to the electric field that's across the capacitor. And the negative side of the dipole moment will face up toward the positive plate, and the positive element of each of these dipole moments will face toward the negative plate. As a result, each of these little dipole moments in here creates an electric field that points up in this picture. And as a result, each of these little dipole moments tends to cancel, or partially cancel, the electric field from the capacitor itself. And the capacitor will have less electric field across it than it used to, as a result also less voltage. The capacitance across the capacitor will be a number C prime that's equal to some constant kappa times the original capacitance before we put the dielectric in. That's because we want voltage to drop when we insert this dielectric, or at least that's our intuition of what should happen. And because Q is equal to CV and Q is the same, for voltage to go down, then the capacitance has to go up. This constant kappa is called the dielectric constant for the particular material that we're inserting. Kappa is equal to 1 for pure vacuum. It's almost 1 for air because the air does not tend to cancel the electric field applied. It's about 1.0006. However, kappa can be a very large number, like 3.5 for something like paper, or 4.5 for oil. If there's no dielectric, then the charge will equal some original capacitance times the original voltage. But with the dielectric, the voltage will drop to some new value V prime, and the capacitance will have to increase to some new value C prime, such that the product of C prime V prime equals C naught V naught. And that's why C prime has to go up in order for voltage to go down.